Hey guys, um, so my name is Lily and this is my very first YouTube video. So I've been spending quite a lot of time decorating my room and a lot of my friends have been asking me to do a room tour which I've been procrastinating for <laughs> about five years. Um, so here I am finally doing this and I hope you find this informative. So as you walk into my room, um, the first thing you will see is this desk which I got it from Tesco online actually and this chair, which I swear every YouTuber has it is the classic IKEA Tobias chair with the sheepskin over it um, I used to do my work and my study here but now I do my work in a separate room because I heard that apparently you're supposed to separate work from sleep and etc etc so on my desk, what I have here is my laptop a mirror and a tray um, so this marble tray I got it from H&M it was $24.99 I believe and um, I highly recommend that you guys check out the H&M website for um, the homeware stuff they do some great affordable pieces and I just have like kind of all my perfume collections here um, so this is my current favorite um, it's the Louis Vuitton rosy scented perfume and at the back I just have um, some of my old perfume from Jo Malone and um, the scents I use usually get is either wild blue bell or the english pear one but i don't i don't know i, I don't find them very like long lasting enough and um, so i don't really buy them as much as i used to oh yeah and oh my gosh this candle it's my absolute favorite it's from calvin klein and it's in the scent lotus i think so it smells absolute heaven um unfortunately it's been discontinued and this is the last one i have left so I've been saving it from burning like forever um, I actually like to buy my lampshade and the lamp bases separately because I can never find like, the perfect one so the lamp base is from Denelm and the shade is from Ikea uh, I think all together it cost like, £25 or something which was really cheap yeah and I think it's nice to have you know like functional decorative pieces as opposed to just having like a vase which doesn't really do anything at all at least this thing lights up in the night um, I'm just just gonna show you like the drawers quickly so inside the drawers I have some, like random stationaries here um, and in this one again just like random bits of makeup a notebook uh, hand sanitizers of course not sure why I have a cigar in here actually that's a bit strange um, oh yeah and this is like souvenirs from all these networking events I used to attend while I was at uni which was quite funny and so this window, window, which is like on top of my desk Not many houses have round windows actually And I remember telling my friends about this window on video chat And they were like, oh my god Lily, do you live in a submarine? I thought that was so funny so these grey velvety curtains were the old ones I had from years ago um, I did want to change to a pair of white ones just to match with the rest of the room What I find is that most of the white curtains weren't blackout curtains So they would let the light see through and it kind of disturbs my sleep a little bit so If anyone knows where I can buy like a, a blackout white curtains, please do let me know I've also just layered the inside of the, my window with a net curtain um, And they were from Ikea again and I think they were only about five pounds, so it was called a Lil or Lily curtains. So this is the left hand side of my bedside table. Um, what I have here is just some faux flowers which I got them from eBay and the vase actually came with it I wanted to change them to one of those like round glass ones I haven't got around to do that yet and these were obviously my budget-friendly home decor hacks so these Chanel gift bags obviously came with the purchase it also kind of adds like storage space as well and I keep some of my makeup inside so behind is a really old photo frame um, which I got it from B VHS. don't really have any pictures in them um you can see how old it is because the store actually no longer exists it was like the british home store and this is let me see i think this was wow 15 pounds and then finally i just have this little cute camel which i got it from dubai i love how like this little hump opens so i store some of my like ear stars in them and so in this first drawer, 
mostly just keep my like old nail polishes I don't really use nail polishes anymore because I mostly get my nails done in a salon um, so I should put really probably throw these away and then there is like an old wallet again don't use cash anymore so this is um, what do you call it a um, perfume atomizer sort of thing so you can twist this take it out and then pump like perfume out from like your perfume bottles um, um, so then you can carry this with you around but that none of my perfume bottle actually opens so I can't actually use this which is sad so this is the second drawer uh, where I keep gifts and souvenirs from friends and me traveling this is like a kitchen magnet which a friend got it from for me from Uzbekistan and this is this spot is where I went to um, Istanbul and this is from Morocco this is when I went to Egypt and the guy just gave it to me for free I think it's one of those like perfume thingy again oh yeah this is when my friend went to the Sahara Desert he basically just filled this jar with the sand from the desert and I'll show you but it's so much fine and softer than the ones you get from like the European beaches yeah and then finally this Polaroid it's when me and my friend Cece um, went to the Abercrombie & Fitch store in Paris back in the days when it was a thing to take like pictures with the models in front of the store and etc so this is where my bed is um, which is also I guess the main focus of the bedroom and I've literally just shown you that bedside table over there and um, as you can tell um, I decided to use white as of, like the color theme of the bedroom and I just feel like the color white that brings me the most calm and like a peaceful space for me to relax in. I've also decided to go with these super plain simple white beddings and then just have like four pillows and this little cushion in the middle. Um, I know it looks a little bit lame Um, this heart is from Primark um, but I just really couldn't be bothered to have like a thousand cushions laid on my bed every morning and having to like take them out in the evening. It's just like way too high maintenance for me. So I'm quite picky with the type of bedding I get and I use usually like to go at least 500 thread count Egyptian cotton and these were like the linen ones from the white company that's why they crease so much and they were also quite pricey as well but I'm sure you can find like the cheaper ones elsewhere and um, moving on to my bed so I was obsessed with those like quilted fabric headboards for a while hence I've got these beds they were from DFS they were really good quality because it's not like one of those separate headboards and a base so it's like an all together bed and then the base is also made out of the same material as the headboard and uh, I just love them and so on top of my bed I just have three feather paintings uh, I got these posters from a site called art.co.uk um, It was quite difficult to find at the time But nowadays I think you can find them anywhere on Etsy And um, I think altogether they cost less than £50 Which is much cheaper than if you buy uh, ready framed art uh, Sorry, so I forgot to mention that the room is lined with this cream colored wallpaper Which I got it from B&Q And what I love about this wallpaper is that they have this sort of shimmer and metallic texture to it So it reflects the light really well and it makes your room feel a lot brighter Especially if you're living like under the British weather So the ceilings were also painted using a silk textured paint um, instead of mattes Which makes the room uh, more luxurious And then this light I got it from next and it required some self-assembly moving on to the other side of my bedside table or my stand whatever you want to call it um, I won't show you everything that's inside because that's just gonna take forever so these um, bedside tables are from Argos and I changed the knobs to match the ones that I have with the wardrobe so what I have on top are some tissues which needs a tissue box oh, a candle and um, this this works uh, pillow spray to help me going to sleep in the night finally i think this gorgeous lamp deserves a close-up this is again from my all-time favorite journal uh, and then the light when the sun shines to it it kind of glows and it's so pretty guys while i was filming uh, my tissue box from white company has just arrived but it's way too big Look, there's like a massive gap in between but, i mean should i keep it leave it keep it leave it and over here is where my wardrobe is 
so I live in a traditional British house uh, where most of them don't have a walk-in closet so I have to have like a, this massive wardrobe in my room um, so this is the IKEA Pax range uh, where you can mix and match like all the doors and the compartments and the frames etc to like suit yourself basically so what I have here is I have two double like wooden panels and a single mirror door on the right and when I was growing up, I was kind of indoctrinated by my parents about this whole feng shui stuff. So I was always told that you can't have like um, mirrors in the bedroom that's directly opposite your bed. Um, so that's why I only have like a single one on the end instead of having like all mirror doors, um, which I always avoid. And so this one only cuts the edge of the bed. Um, hopefully this is okay. And then uh, what else? Oh yeah, for the frames. Um, a lot of people have like the old white doors and the white frames but I just personally feel like this um, light oak version looks a little bit more expensive so I wanted to quickly show you how I've designed the inside of my wardrobes so obviously on the top I have like a shelf going across which I used to store my luggage bags and all the junks I don't use and then this middle section is for my top and like shorter jackets and then on the left is where I keep my like dresses and longer coat um, and for the single frame, I just basically divide it into like a different shelves, which I store my like pajamas, uh, like t-shirts and the things that can't be hand. And then in these two um, drawers is where my underwears are. I'll quickly show you how organized I am. Um, and these straw dividers are from Amazon, highly recommend. So um, this is like a rack for the tr trousers and jeans. Um, I wish I actually got the bigger version like that goes across just because I have so many like trousers and jeans and there's not enough space. And then over here, there's like three nylon baskets which came with the pack system. And, and I just use that to um, store my like, beddings and things. Um, and then underneath, uh, there is like a tray for some of my shoes, not all of them. Um, and then obviously there's more shoes in that basket there as well. So I have this first drawer made out of glass. I feel like it's easier to see my clutch bag sections and um, some of my scarves here. And I won't show you these two because that's just like mess. And then finally, I have a basket. It's where I keep my like hair styling products and like my curling tones and things, which is like super convenient. All right, guys. So that is the end of the room tour. And um, just in case if I forgot to mention where anything please feel free to ask me in the comment section below and also please let me know what you would like to watch in my next video and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!